hi guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new to my channel welcome it's time for my monthly boxy charm unboxing so in today's video I'm going to be showing you what I got in my November boxy charm so if you're curious to see what's in here this month then just keep on watching So first off, I do want to quickly mention that I am a little bit in a hurry because tomorrow I am leaving for LA for a week. So I'm a little bit stressed because I have to film, edit, and upload this video so you guys have something to watch while I'm gone. So I did want to mention that because also you can follow me on my other social media if you want to keep up to date with what I'm doing when I'm in LA. So if you guys want to follow me over there, you will have a little sneak peek into what's going on in my life. And also I am debating vlogging it. No promises yet, but I do want to start vlogging and have that deeper level of connection with you guys, which I hope that you want. Now I do know that some people this month were having issues with BoxyCharm and I'm not sure if it was shipping issues or if it was waiting list issues, but I did want to quickly say that I'm sorry if any of you guys purchased BoxyCharm based on my video last month and then were disappointed with something with BoxyCharm this month. I really do genuinely feel bad because you know I love this subscription and I feel like I kind of push it onto you sometimes, but if you guys did have problems, just know that you can email customer service. I know that they're working really hard on it and I hope that all of you guys get your issues resolved and you get your boxes soon, but I did want to talk about that because I know, I think I saw on Twitter that there were a lot of issues this month and I really hope that all of them are resolved for you guys soon. Now, of course, as usual, I did see a few sneak peeks into this box on BoxyCharm's Twitter. If you do follow them over there, they do reveal some spoilers every month, if not all of them. I don't think they reveal everything in the box, but some spoilers they definitely show. So I do think I know a few of the items in this month's box. As always, we get the little card in here that has the theme and then all of the products and values that are in the box. The first item that I'm pulling out of my box looks like a lip product. This is a Laca and Co Cloud Lips and this retails for $17. I don't see a shade name on mine. Oh yes I do. I lied. The shade name of mine is Storm. So it does have really pretty rose gold packaging and it's a twist up lipstick and mine is in a really deep color for fall. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch it because I do have a liquid lip on right now. I'm wearing Anastasia Beverly Hills Ashton, which is one of my go-to terracotta colors. So here's what the color of my lipstick looks like. It's a deep like wine color and it says it's an airy matte lipstick that provides full coverage but feels as light as a cloud. So it definitely does feel really creamy. I'm sure it's a great lipstick. It doesn't look streaky or anything, but I won't be trying it on just because I did already put my liquid lipstick on today. But this is a beautiful color, and as I said, it retails for $17. So as always, I like to know if you guys did get this lipstick, did you get the same shade as me or did you get a different shade? And if you did, what did you get? I want to know. Now I did see this product as a spoiler. This is the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. So this retails for $31. I actually want to pop it out and see what it's like. It says shake very well before use. Okay, so I want to try this sprayer and see if it comes out in a fine mist. Okay, it does seem like a fine mist, but it does have a little bit of like a squirt in there. Let me just try it on my face. Okay, so if you do it pretty far away from your face, you'll only get hit with a nice fine mist. If you do it too close, you're gonna get a little bit of some like wet spots on your face, which you don't want, but it does actually feel really nice. It doesn't feel heavy or anything. It doesn't feel super like drenching, but I am excited to try it out some more. I do like my setting sprays. Sometimes I just want a good setting spray to take away some cakiness from my makeup which is what I think this would be really good for. 
but if for any reason this is in your box and it clashes with your type of skin I do recommend using it to wet your eyeshadows or your highlights to make them more intense you can always get use out of a setting spray pretty much no matter what kind it is Next up in the box we have an eyeshadow palette. This is from the brand Winky Lux, which I think I've seen on the Ulta website. And this is called the Kitten Palette and it retails for $25. So it has little kittens all over it and flowers and leaves. It's really pretty packaging. Here is the inside of the palette. Honestly, I have to be honest, I don't think that this really screams to me. I personally am a palette hoarder. I have so many eyeshadow palettes. So when I see this, nothing really stands out to me and makes me go, wow, I'm so glad this is in the box. But I do wanna swatch a few of these shades and see how they perform as a swatch. I have to be honest, I don't even really feel like putting this eyeshadow on my eyes today. I have nothing on my eyes today and I kind of want to leave it that way. I'm so sorry if that makes any of you guys upset. Like I said, I'm kind of in a hurry today. I have to hurry up and get this done. But that being said, I will swatch on my finger. Okay, so I'm picking up a few of the shimmer shades. I want to pick up one of the matte shades. Mm. Oh no. Okay, so the shimmers are picking up halfway decent, but the matte literally crumbled all over on my finger when I tried to pick it up. So I feel like, honestly, looking at this and touching it, I can tell you that it's not going to blow your mind when it comes to quality. I don't think it's that great of a palette, but the shimmers are really pigmented. So I am happy with the shimmers. I might give this a few tries, but honestly, I feel like this is something that I should probably pass along because I do have so many eyeshadow palettes that I don't give enough attention to and they function beautifully. So this one, I'm not really sure if I'm in love with this product, to be honest. I would have rather seen one of the studio makeup palettes again that we got a few months back. Those were honestly amazing. They kind of blew my mind. but. Just first impression, I'm feeling kind of meh about it, but if you guys got this and you tried it, let me know and let each other know in the comments how you like it because obviously this is just first swatch, first impression for me. So do you guys see what I mean? The shimmers are just fine, but that top purple is a matte shade and it's just so sheer and everything literally fell off my finger. We have a quad eye travel set from Luxie Beauty. This retails for $32. I love Luxie brushes. I get them in BoxyCharm all the time and I'm collecting them. They're really, really good quality brushes and I love that this is a perfect little travel set and I just so happen to be traveling, so this is perfect. So we get four eye brushes in here. There are two that would be really good for blending. This one would be good for packing on the lid. And then this right here I would use to carve out my eyebrows. It's like a flat type of brush. I would use that for concealer underneath my brows. So I love this set. I'm actually going to pack it away and take it with me. Now I absolutely love when BoxyCharm includes any type of sheet mask and it looks like we have three lip masks. So they always include more than one usually when it comes to the sheet masks. This is from KNC Beauty. They are collagen lip masks. So it retails for $15. I'm wondering if all three of them retail for $15 or one of them. Probably all three of them. But I like that it comes with three and it looks like these might be those really cool like flappy lip masks and I want to try them out. So again, this is perfect for traveling because the air on an airplane can really just completely destroy your skin. Especially with me, my skin is already dry. It's just going to wreak havoc on my face so I will be packing at least one of these with me probably two one for the way there and one for the way back I don't know if it's something that you guys would want to see but I actually have a sheet mask collection I go in on like rainy days or days that I want to pamper myself or my skin is looking really bad like it needs help I'll go in and I'll do one of my favorite sheet masks. So I'm going to take these with me and I love that they are inside the box. So this was everything out of the Sweater Weather November BoxyCharm. This box retailed at $110. 
So again, we have five full-size items, even more if you count the lip masks separately, and it retails for over $100 for $21 a month. So even though I'm not super impressed with one of the items in here, I do like a majority of them, and honestly, this Cover Effects product kind of makes up for the whole box. I'm really obsessed with skincare, so I love the lip masks. I'm just not super blown away by the eyeshadow palette. I feel like now that I have so many in my collection, it takes a certain level of quality and even colors and shades to really draw my attention. I know that some people will absolutely love the eyeshadow palette, especially if you are newer to makeup or you don't have as many in your collection. These colors might really stand out to you. So everybody is different. Please don't take offense to my preferences because everybody has different things that they like to see inside the box. If you guys are interested in keeping up with me in the next week, then please do follow me over on my social media, especially Snapchat, and I do have some tutorials coming for you on Instagram to keep you guys entertained while I am away. But I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to come back every month for my BoxyCharm unboxing. I always post every single month. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I put new videos up every single week no matter what and if you guys want to get notifications of my uploads you can hit that little bell button they will either be sent to your email or directly to your phone depending on what your settings are but I always love it when you guys are first to my videos but thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I will see you all in my next video bye